Hey Hot Zoners, how you doing? I'm Jason Robinson reporting for T8Z. And in the Hot Zone this week, we have got singer and songwriter Joel Krause. We are right here at Urban Plaza, right here in Manhattan. We're gonna see him on stage performing some songs from his debut CD, Even the River Runs. Let's go inside and speak with this talented artist. I am here, ladies and gentlemen, with the man of the hour, singer, songwriter, Mr. Joel Krause, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hot Zone. How you doing, man? Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, no, thanks for joining us. We, I, I was so happy when I found out that you were going to be here. Yeah. Um, you are right here at Irving Plaza. So if Hot Zoners, if you hear any drums and what was it, snares you were saying, Joel? Snares, uh, kick drum, that's Cassidy Pope. She's sound checking right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're in Joel's uh, dressing room and the, the, the sound check is going on right here. So uh, pardon the uh, drums, but uh, we're, we'll definitely keep it hot. So listen, tell your fans out there about your brand new <laughs> debut album. It's called, right, Joel Krause. Tell us the name. Even the River Runs. Even uh, the River the Runs. Title track, and actually... This is my guitar strap. You'll see that tonight. The border of the record is my guitar strap. So it's, it's pretty oh. cool with the design and everything. I wanted to go with something a little different. You okay. Know, you know, more of album art. But yeah. Dude, I wrote this record between ages 17 and 19. I'm 22 now. Mm -hmm. So this album is a really cool introduction for me uh, to country music and maybe some to some different genres as well. You know, I'm really digging it. It's reaching <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's definitely reaching a lot of people. But. What's, what does the name mean? I, I saw the name okay. and it said, Even the River Runs. And I said to myself, well, all rivers run. So <laughs> I'm like, he said, Even the River Runs? Well, what's the meaning behind the name so, of the title? So there's uh, the song, Even the River Runs. I wrote it with Craig Wiseman and Jamie Houston, my producer. And so that was really about the song. The song was about me moving from Massachusetts, small town, uh, Holland, Massachusetts, uh, to Nashville. I've been there five years now. But my dad told me when I was moving, is like, dude, you just got to get out of this town. You right. know? It's like, you're not, you're not going to do anything in this town. You need yeah. to go to Nashville. And right. so I was kind of telling Craig, like, you know, we were talking about it during the, while we were writing together. And he's like, well, even the river runs, you know? So, like, you know, so, like, even the river runs, so you got to go, too, you know? You so that's kind of right. where it came. And so I thought, since that's the song about me moving from Massachusetts to Nashville, it'd be a good title for my first album. Uh, how is Nashville working for you? Dude, I dig it, man. Mm -hmm. I've been there five years. It's definitely a second home for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've been kind of right in the heart of Nashville, and it's taught me a lot, man, about, about songwriting, playing guitar. I kind of had to surround myself with people who were way better than me when I first moved down there so <laughs> okay. I could get better. Right. <laughs> uh, I've learned so much just being there. It's a great town. What are some of your favorite tracks on, on the album and, and why? You know, it was cool to have a hand in the whole experience of uh, writing the record because I got to co-write all the songs. I didn't plan on that, but I really wanted to because I've been writing since I was about 13, 14. Mm, yeah. Some of my favorite songs, it starts off with Don't Tell Me, mm -hmm. which is a true story about me getting drunk and not calling my girlfriend back. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever, I'd ever been drunk. And uh, Your girl's got to tell us about that, Joe. Well, she's <laughs> I'm gonna not speak around to anymore. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> Duly noted, okay. Exactly. I think she just got engaged, so okay. cheers. Ruby Puts a Red Dress On is a, a really special song to me. It's not my story. It tells the story of a woman who uh, lost her loved one, and she puts this red dress on because it makes her think of, you know, when he told her she was the prettiest and everything. Right. So that's, that's one of my favorites as a, uh, you know, to play live and everything. You are going to be performing tonight. Now, what can your fans expect from tonight's performance and your performances in general? I think it's going to be fun, man. We're going to, you know, play a lot of my tunes, maybe a few covers, and it's going to be energetic. We just want to get the crowd pumped for Cassidy. And this is my first time playing in New York City. So, like, I am just thrilled, so excited to be here, man. Really am. Wow. And now you have opened up for so many huge Artist. We opened up for Taylor Swift. Uh, we did a one-off with the Goo Goo Dolls, and then uh, we've been on the road with Darius Rucker for like wow. the last three years. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've done some stuff with the band Perry. Man, I've just been learning a lot, touring, making new fans, and just you know trying to keep my music out there and just you know finding uh, 
I guess, my people. Yeah, and I also heard one of your songs was on a, a popular CW uh, television yeah, show, right? The Heart of Dixie. And yeah. actually, it aired while I was playing a show, so I didn't get to see it live. Oh, okay. But <laughs> it was my first time having a song uh, uh -huh. in a TV show. It was really right. cool for me, man. Really, really cool. It was Don't Tell Me, actually. Though. Oh, Don't Tell Me, right. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was a good good yeah. fit for that, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, it was a little honky tonk song. So. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, dude. So, listen, I, I'm not going to hold you too much longer because I know you have to go and get ready for the show. <laughs> now, um, we, now we have to go make noise. Yeah, you got you to gotta make our, some noise. With our snares and drums, yeah. yeah. But, but, but tell us before you go, where can your fans expect to see you uh, tour-wise and concert-wise? Because tonight's going to be a jam session right here at Irving Plaza. But what can your fans look to forward for uh, future uh, concerts and tours? Well, I'm going on a 30-day tour with Love and Theft this fall, October through December, so please check out my website, joelkraus.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, right. Instagram, <laughs> anything you stalk your exes with, you can find me. <laughs> Make sure to go and pick up his brand new CD right here, Even the River Runs. I'm Jason Robinson reporting for T8Z. Hey, what's up? I'm Joel Kraus, and I'm in the hot zone.